Dry Brushing Skincare Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be just talking for a moment about dry brushing. This is something that I had never done until about the past week or so. And over the past week I have been doing this at least daily. There's a couple days where I did do it twice. And so the benefits of dry brushing, which is basically exfoliating your skin with these guys every single day. You just run them over your skin and I'll do a demo of that as well. The benefits are that it's supposed to help, obviously exfoliating is going to help get rid of extra dry skin and all of those things. And then it's also supposed to really be beneficial for your lymphatic system, which will help remove toxins from your body, as well as the spreading and the reduction of cellulite. And by spreading, I mean like evening it out, not increasing. So hope that makes sense. So I've been doing this for about a week and before that I hadn't even really, I've heard of it, but not done all of that much with it, but I decided I would give it a go. And so my first instincts, when I first did this, like I said, it was about a week ago, my first thought was that it actually was a little bit painful, not to the point where I couldn't do it, it just, I was surprised by how abrasive it felt. That was day one, and actually my arms, like right in here, I turned neon red, way red. I turn red easily though, so that wasn't surprising in the slightest, but I did turn bright red. The other thing that I noticed almost immediately is that my skin tone after the red went away really evened out. Like my legs, they have, I'm very pale, so like you can see all the veins in my skin and all of that wonderful stuff that seemed to be lessened to an extent, which I thought was astounding. So that was the first things that I noticed. The other thing was, now this has been over the past few weeks, my skin actually feels extremely soft and more velvety than it did. Like there's no dry skin and I don't have any dry skin. I don't have anything like that. And I think the most shocking thing of all that really took me by surprise is how much softer my feet feel. I did not see that coming. Um, I am very big on making sure that, you know, I exfoliate my feet and I lotion, constant well, lotion, I'm a lotion addict, so I do that all the time. But I was just absolutely surprised by how soft my feet feel without, you can over exfoliate and that's actually easy to do if you're somebody that likes to. And without overfeeling, it didn't do that. It didn't get rid of all of the importantly tough skin on your feet. There is obviously a purpose to calluses, that's why they're there. So getting rid of them 100% is actually a terrible thing to do and it can cause some pain. It, didn't, it doesn't do that, it just makes them feel very smooth and your feet feel incredibly smooth. So all of that was a wonderful surprise to me. And my skin has stopped turning bright red and it doesn't hurt at all. The most sensitive areas for me were my arms and my stomach, which again, as I was going over my stomach, I'm thinking, really, that's shocking. I did not see that coming at all. That's not, I don't know. That was interesting that my stomach was on, didn't like this, but I don't feel that anymore. In fact, I don't even hardly feel this on my feet any longer or my legs. It's like, you don't even feel it. So clearly you get accustomed to the feeling rather quickly. And so that is my thoughts on it. Um, as far as cellulite reduction and stretch mark reduction, which was something that I was really looking for, I haven't really noticed much. That being said, I mean, maybe I've noticed a little less cellul cellulite, but not, not a huge extent. So I'm thinking that over time, and as far as stretch marks go, it's really hard to tell. I tried to take pictures and so I would have like two comparison shots, but they just didn't turn out right. You can't really see anything. And so I'm not sure. So I will keep you posted and like in say a month or so, I will come back and give you another update on how I think about this. And I will let you know at that point. But so far, as far as just this past week, my skin feels amazing and soft. And because you do it everywhere, it's not just like putting an intensive hydrating cream on your legs or your feet or a mask because it's doing the whole thing. So that's, that's really nice. So I will give you the demo on how to do this. And if you're interested in these, there will be a link to those in the description box below. So here is the box that these came in. And it's really nice if you plan to give this as a gift because the box itself is really heavy duty and actually kind of pretty with that silver accents on it. And then inside the box, the first thing is a little instruction thing that is actually really helpful, like for the first time, you know, starting. And then there's the brush itself, which is really nice. And it has a handle that you can either have it on or detach it and remove it if you want. So far I've been using it without the handle. I can reach fairly well, so I didn't feel like I needed it. That being said, if you do feel like you need to use the handle for reaching 
any areas that you can't without, go ahead and use that. So then I also have, also in the box it was a four piece set, so it came with this loofah sponge that is really nice because it's very long and it's got a little handle on each end. So like you can have one handle in each hand and then you can use it on your back really easily as well as on your feet and other areas just because you got those two handles on it and the terry cloth on it is extremely soft. It's so nice, it's so soft. And then it also came with a little cognac sponge that is really nice and that was sealed. I had sort of cheated on this little thing and I had opened it in the past because I couldn't wait. So then to do the dry brushing itself, it says to start on your feet, on the soles of your feet, so I did that. And then it says to work your way up your legs. Now I wasn't quite sure if I was supposed to do one leg and then the other leg or if I was supposed to do a leg and then the arm and then go back to the other leg. The way I did it is, or the way I've been doing it as well, is I've been doing each leg and then doing my arms and then doing my back. So here's the legs, and as I said, it didn't, it doesn't now feel like anything much, but in the beginning, it definitely did tickle my feet. And the key here from what I was reading online is that you really want to use as much pressure as you can tolerate as far as pain goes. And now I use as much pressure as I can possibly cause myself, and it, or not cause myself, but as much pressure as I can, and I don't really feel it. So there you go. And yeah, so like I said, it's I've gotten accustomed to it in a week, and considering that I have relatively sensitive skin, that's pretty good. So now for my arms, I'm going to start with the back of my hand. I In the beginning, I didn't do the palm of my... I guess I did. I didn't do the palm of my hand as much. I've been doing that more. And then just going up my arm. And I'm really looking forward to doing this in the wintertime and in the fall when, my hand, when your hands get a little bit drier and cuticles are a mess to see if that helps that. Now, if you can see it as much, how red my arm turned, it doesn't show up in the video nearly as much as it did in red life. In red life. In real life. In real life, I was red. So then I just went over and I also did my chest and my arms. And now if you can see the color difference in my arms when I held them up there for a second, it's actually, it was pretty noticeable. And then I also, there's that little sponge for the face. Now the little sponge has less bristles in it. They're the same stiffness, but there's just fewer of them. So it's gentler for your face. And for that, it says to go over your forehead and then over your cheeks and then over your chin. And my face, it did was a little bit more abrasive in the beginning where I almost was thinking, oh my goodness, can I tolerate this? But just like with the rest of me at this point, after it's been only a week, it's just fine. And I did also turn red in this part of it. And then it goes down your neck with that littler one. So that's the gist of this. And then after you do this, you should take a shower, which I didn't read the instructions properly. And you can see by my wet hair, I did that wrong. But I hope you like this and maybe it'll help you out. Check the description box for info on it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.